Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the sequence and series. Today we will discuss about geometric series test for the infinite series A n. Myself, Dr. Garg. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harikar for finding the various videos on the topic real analysis. So let's start with this short video. So what we have discussed in our last lectures that there are the various tests to analyze whether this series is convergent or divergent and the sum of the tests are here. In the last two lectures we have discussed about the first test that is the nth term test and the nth partial sum sequence test. Based on these two tests which we have discussed in the last lecture we have observed they have the several shortcomings which is available here. For example this test is discussed only about the divergence nature of the series but they are not talking about anything related to the convergence of the series. On the other hand the nth partial sum sequence is applicable only for the telescopic series. I recall that what is a telescopic series whose nth term can be represented as the difference of the two consecutive terms. For example here you can see n and the n plus 1 are the two consecutive terms. n, n plus 1 are the two consecutive terms. 4n square minus 1 again it can be partialized them which are the two consecutive terms. Therefore these are the sum shortcomings in this nth term test of the divergence and the nth partial sum of the sequence. Therefore if you are able to look about this first quotient which is not in the telescopic form moreover if you find the limit of this a n if you consider the first term as here so what is the limit as n approaches infinity it goes to the zero so nth term test will not tell us anything about the convergence of the series because the nth term is tell us about the divergence are similarly for this and this so therefore these such kind of the questions are not solved with the help of these two methods. So then we will try to explain the third method called as the geometric series test for this infinite series. What is this test says? So if you have the geometric series here then it converges if you find the common ratio r if the absolute value of common ratio is less than 1 then convergent otherwise divergent and if it is convergent then you all know the sum of the gp series at infinite is my a over 1 minus r. So this is the infinite sum of the series. So the proof is very simple if you consider this series and I can consider this is my a n we can define the nth partial sum sequence like of this. So how you can find the sum of this gp series which is written here. Now we can find the n approaches infinity which is here. What is the limit of this? So that depending on the nature of the r whether r is greater than 1 or it is a less than 1. When r is less than 1 then you can say anything which is less than of 1 raised to power n is goes to the 0 as n approaches infinity. So therefore whenever this value is less than 1 this value is my 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so answer is here otherwise this. From this uh, result we can say the sequence Sn is convergent when mod of r is less than r 1 and divergent here. So therefore by using the nth partial sum sequence test the nth sequence is convergent implies the series is convergent for the same r and the sum is given to be whatever the answer you have obtained during their limits. Remember that whenever you have to apply any of the test it from here and in out of this test only these two tests that is nth partial sum sequence and the geometry will provide you the sum of the convergence series while the rest of the test will only discuss about that whether this series is convergent or divergent. But if somebody asks you that find the sum of the series you have to apply either of the test is there. Or you can say whenever you want to find the sum of the infinite series you have to apply either of these two tests. So let's discuss with these 7 to 8 examples in this lecture so that you can understand very well. So we, we can solve this problem with the help of the various tests are there. So let's start with firstly whether this test is applicable or not. What is the nth term test? That is if you find the limit as n approaches infinity, if it failed to exist or you can say it's infinity the, or you can say the limit a n is not equal to 0 then we can say it's the divergence. So if you compute the limit of this you can see this number is less than 1 so it goes to the 0 but it means it means by the nth term test the series may or may not be a convergent. So it means that this test is not applicable for this example. 
Similarly, the nth partial sum sequence is again not applicable because this is not the consecutive two terms are there. So therefore, the telescopic series not be there, both tests are fair. In order to analyze them, whether it is geometric series or not, clearly say that this is a geometric series with common ratio 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 you can write like of this, that is 1.414 over 2, so which is 0 0.707, which is less than of 1. So as the absolute value of the R is less than 1, so but a geometric series it is a convergent. Once it's a convergent, you have to find the sum of the series. So what is the sum of this infinite series? So A, this is 1 over common ratio. So that is the right answer of this problem. Look at another example here. Again, we will firstly check whether it is an nth term test or not. So what is the limit as n approaches infinity? So clearly say that it goes to the infinity. So infinity means it's failed to exist. So therefore by the nth term test the series is divergent. That's over. So, and again if you want if, if from by the first test you will get the right answer. So sum will not be found because it's a divergent series. Can this sum be solved with the help of the nth partial sum sequence? No. Why? Because it is not in the telescopic series. So this is applicable, this is not applicable. Can this sum be solved with the help of the geometric series? Yes, because this is again a geometric series with common ratio here. What is the root of 4? Root of 2, it is a 1 point, it is a greater than 1. So therefore, by geometric series is a divergent. So by nth term is also divergent, geometric series also with a divergent. So you can opt any one of the method. Look at this one. So can again the nth term test be applicable? So what is the limit as n approaches infinity? So this is, what is the limit of this is infinity. So 3 over infinity is my 0, so it goes to the 0. So once it's a 0, it means the nth term test is not applicable here. Can the nth partial sum sequence be applicable? No, because you can't write this in terms of the telescopic series. So it means the both the methods are not applicable. Can this be the geometric series? Yes, you can write like, you can write these terms as of this, minus of 3 is a common. Now you can see this is my GP series. What is the common ratio is the minus of half and you can see mod of r is less than of 1 so therefore by geometric test it's a convergent and the sum is my it's a minus of 3 this is the gp series start from the 1 to infinity the first term is minus half common ratio is my here is the right answer of this sum look at the another one can both all these tests be applicable so look at the first test and the term test if you find the limit of cos of n pi, you will get either as a 1 or minus 1. What is the meaning of that? Limit does not exist. So once limit does not exist, it means the nth term test is a divergence. Can the nth partial sum be applicable? No, because it can never be written in terms of the partial sum sequence. Can the geometric series be applicable? Yes, because minus 1, this is the my GP form. It's a GP series with the common ratio is my minus 1. So what is the mode of R? It is my plus 1 which is greater than or equal to 1. So therefore, by geometric series is a divergent. So by the nth term test or by the geometric test, you can apply either of these problems. Look about this one. So can the nth term test be applicable? Again, you can see when you take cos n pi here. So I can write this number as of this. So what is the limit as n approaches infinity? It goes to the 0. So therefore, again, the nth term test is not applicable for this problem. Can the nth partial sum sequence be applicable? No, because it is not in the form of the telescopic series. So the first two tests fail to classify this example. So let's apply with the geometric test. Again, you can see this is my common ratio. And here, what is the mode of R is less than of the 1. So it's a convergent sequence, co convergent series. And the sum will be, this is a over 1 minus r. a first term and start from the 0. So first term is 1, comma ratio is my here. So this is 5 upon 6 is the right answer. Look at the another four examples are there. So can the nth term test be applicable here? You can easily check that. Nth partial is not be applicable. So can, you can see, I can return like here. So this the common ratio is e raised to power minus 2. So 1 over e square is always be less than of the 1. So by the geometric test is a convergent and the sum will be by here. 
look about this one if you apply the nth term test what is the a n is 2 over 10 raised to power n so if you take as n approaches infinity so what is the answer of this as this is infinite so it will goes to the zero so nth term test will not applicable again the nth partial sum sequence is not applicable so we apply for the geometric series so 2 is outside so this is a gp with common ratio my 1 by 10 which is less than 1 so it's a convergent and this is the sum of the series again look about this again this is a gp series it's a geometric series what is the common ratio is e over pi so what is that e over pi is always less than 1 why because e is nothing but 2.718 pi is my 3.141 so which is always be less than of the 1 so again it's a convergent and this is the sum of the series look about this can i write this term as e raised to power pi divided by pi raised to power e of n yes you can write like this way so this is a gp series you can do this value in the calculator it is a zero point something which is clearly say that it's a less than one hence again it's a convergent series look at the last examples so how you can check the test of the series so that's again very simple i can bifurcate them i can write like this way so you can see that it's a negative so firstly we can check about whether this is a convergent or not. Clearly say that this is a GP series. It's a geometric progression series. So the common ratio is my 2 by 3 which is less than 1. Hence the geometric test the series is convergent and sum is my 3. Similarly if you look about the second, second series again it's a GP series with the ratio 1 by 3 which is less than 1. So we prove that this is my convergent this is my convergent and we all know if a and b both are convergent then the plus as well as minus both are my convergent sequence so the difference of the two convergent sequence is convergent so it means this is my convergent sequence and if what is the sum of this so what is the sum of this series the sum of this series is my 3 sum of this series is my 3 by 2 so the answer is my 3 over 2 is the right so this is the way you can solve this geometric series test in a very simple manner. We will solve, discuss the P test that is the next test in our next lecture. Till then you can simply like, share and comment on this video. You can share with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.